go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood. And joining us as always is Dax Holt. Now, Dax, we want to start off with kind of a local story for us here. Just a couple weeks ago, we had Fighter Batista here on our set promoting his upcoming first professional MMA fight right here in Providence. But it looks like the plans have changed quite a bit. What happened? Yeah, well, the problem is Rashid Evans, who he was set to fight, uh, got arrested for a probation violation, which means uh, he became ineligible to fight against Bautista, which caused a big problem. Because, you know, you got to see Bautista was really excited. He's going to, you know, do his first fight. He's been training for quite some time. And then his opponent has to drop out. And so uh, they have been scrambling. They have found a replacement. It's going to be Vince Lucero. And uh, so the fight will still take place this Saturday at 8 p.m. Uh, in your guys' neck of the woods. And so all will be good. The problem is Vince has had like 40 fights, 40 yeah. professional fights in the MMA, so that could be a big problem. But uh, nevertheless, it's still, still going to go on. All right, and uh, talking about big muscular guys, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he has a new book out. And while he's apparently uh, telling all with his new book, Maria says he's not exactly telling the truth, right? Yeah, well, I gotta say, the 60 Minutes interview that he did really made him look bad. I mean, he, he was smirking while she was asking him questions mm -hmm. about whether or not he cheated more than once and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but one part of the interview got to the fact that did Maria know about these uh, affairs uh, before? And he said yes. Well, Maria's people are saying that is total BS, that she had no idea of any of the affairs until she confronted him in that uh, marriage counseling room about fathering the other child. And that's when he copped up about it and uh, they're saying she was really in the dark and she is really hurt by the whole situation but uh, it seems like uh, Arnold's really just out to make a bunch of money right now selling this book. <laughs> yeah I'd say so. All right and finally country singer Jason Aldean is apologizing for making out with a former American Idol contestant over the weekend and uh, you guys find out found out uh, some videos is that right? Hey, Jason. Yeah, well, there there was video of him leaving uh, this this place. It's called the Den here in Hollywood, uh, and this was right after the photos of him and Brittany Kerr from American Idol were seen. They were kissing and hugging each other. Well, uh, obviously, Jason Aldean is married, and when he comes out, you realize that he was wearing his wedding ring that night, and that was one thing that Brittany had said in her statement. She goes, "I didn't know he was married, but he was wearing a wedding ring." So that's kind of hard to say you didn't know. Uh, but on top of it, both of them have. Uh, both apologize. Uh, Jason did his via Facebook, saying he's sorry to hear his family and his fans, mm -hmm. and it was just a big drunken mistake. And uh, Brittany came out and she also has apologized, saying, you know, it was just a lapse of judgment. Geez, these guys got to start staying loyal to their wives. All right, Dax, thanks so much. You can catch TMZ TV on our sister station, Fox Providence, at 7 p.m. Or for more information on any of the stories, you can head to our website, WPRI.com.